Hey guys, it's Tyler and today we are going to be packing up some stuff for a farmer's market I have in the morning. So right now I'm packing up my wax melts and then I'm going to pack up some candles and then I'm going to put everything up in the front. As soon as I got off from my full-time job, I came right in and started packing. Okay, so for farmer's market, I tend to bring only like a small selection of my products just because I don't have my own car. And so I'm normally traveling with my uncle and he has a truck and so we do have the room for it but you just never know how big the farmer market is going to be. So I tend to only pack what I think might actually sell just so I'm not lugging around a lot of stuff. I learned the easiest way to carry around the wax melt so that they don't fly everywhere is to actually put them in bags. And I use clear bags just so I can see the actual product. I'm not a morning person, I'm very much a night owl but I have to put on like a very pleasant demeanor because I'm selling products to people and so I try to be as happy and cheery as possible in the morning when I'm doing the shows just because you are a representation of your company when you're doing stuff like this and I want people to experience like a warm happy feeling when they are thinking about golden child candles and also it's just really good customer service be nice to people they don't have to buy your products it's early in the morning they want to be there you have to be there for business purposes. I think it's really important to be there in person selling your products because you get to hear feedback. You get to see which ones people touch a lot. You get to see which ones people don't like. I always look forward to my in-person events. I'm just not a morning person. That's the only thing that I don't like about them. I'm very excited to see how the fall scents do. So the first year I sold candles and wax melt, we weren't doing any in-person events because that's when the pandemic was like really, really going on. And my mother is a cancer survivor. So I tried to stay away from large piles and stuff like that. Plus I was just worried about getting sick as well. And then the second year when fall came around, I took a vacation, which is really nice because I really hadn't done any true vacationing in a really long time. Yeah, it happened around the time that you would normally start marketing all your fall stuff. And by the time I came back, it was November. And so, you know, you kind of missed the season a little bit. Day of yesterday was the first day of fall. But either way, I'm very much looking forward to seeing how well these do. I would love to get some feedback on the scents as well. And I just love fall, it's my favorite season. So, so this is what it looks like when I have all the wax melts I'm going to bring to this little farmer's market. So I'm going to pack it into a cooler and I use that for transportation as well as like just storage. I can store stuff in there. I can sit on there if I need to. And I can also store my actual wax melts in there during the heat of the day and it helps keep them cool. This is just me also checking to make sure I have everything in my bag. Here, and I was about to say, how did I get there? That means my little plant broke. Oh no! Can sanitize. This is what I was looking for. My plant. Since I lost the piece. So I have gone through and taken out all the trash just so I can make sure I have everything that I need to have inside the bag. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pack it. So I like using this oversized cloth bag that's washable. I love using it because it allows me to pack up everything that I normally carry and just kind of haul it over my shoulder. And then when I'm done, I can also close it up if everything's on the table and stick it inside the um, cooler that I use. I wonder is it too early to start putting out the pumpkins and stuff like that? I don't think so because I feel like places are gearing up now so I'm starting to see a lot more pumpkin related stuff. The 
these go in your orders, but I also like to put them on the table. People will grab them. I have some business cards as well, but I feel like having an image on the card and also having to be a bigger card is a lot easier for people to remember. And plus it has like an image of what I sell, what I'm doing it for, a little bit of history, the website information, discount code. These are my business cards. I get them from Vistaprint. They are brown car stock and very sturdy. And I also put these in there. All right, so here is my, my little pouch. I keep all my money and stuff in when I'm doing my events. I need to go ahead and charge this up. It's a power bank. I use it to charge my phone up since my phone is what processes most of my transactions. This is a case that my card reader comes in. It's not in there because I don't put it in the case so often anymore because I have like a stand that it sits on. And then this is the actual card reader. So this card reader is from Shopify. This is a add-on. So if you do want it, you do have to buy it. It allows me to process my uh, payments when I'm doing my in-person events. And it also makes sure that I keep up my inventory. It's weird saying it from this angle. So you can do a swipe with a card. You can do a chip with a card. You can do a tap or dip with a card as well. On the app that corresponds to this on my phone, you can also take in cash. And so it just made my life a lot easier. I don't remember how much I paid for this, but I know it was probably like $45 or more. Also got this and it's just a stand. I put it on there. And then I have these and it's just like a pricing guide. And then also tell me how much or tell me what I use or what I accept for payment. These are the pumpkins I'm going to sit on my table as well. Aren't they darling? I have scissors because you always need scissors. In fact, I, I keep the scissors um, and the wick trimmer in my regular purse slash book bag that I carry. Also carry some tape with me. You always need tape. Even when you don't think you need tape, you eventually need tape. I also carry this book. I print out a paper newsletter and I get people to sign up for it. And I just use this because it's hard back still. Oh, I gotta still pack up my candles. I've learned to pack smaller. I normally pack at least one box of 10 candles and one box of dry candles. And it's just because I've learned that less is more. Less in the form of me bringing stuff, more of the form of me actually selling the stuff I brought so that I don't have to haul it back home. It's a very psychological thing because it's one of those things where if I don't bring a whole bunch of stuff and I sell all of it, I feel wonderful. If I bring a whole bunch of stuff and I don't sell it, even if I sold really well, you don't feel as good. Box of bags, stamp my logo onto these. I got my stamp created from a shop on Etsy. Okay, it's the next day and we're setting up our table at the market. Right now you see me unpacking the wax melts and just getting them on the table. And now we have started to put up the displays and everything else for the wax melts and the candles. Now we're putting up the uh, sign that had like more information about the house project and everything else. Now you're getting a clip of me just setting up and making sure that all the candles look nice and um, you can take all the lids off and stuff like that. Now I'm taking pictures as well. And here's our first customer of the day. I don't remember if she bought anything, but she may just, yep, she bought something. <laughs> This is how most of the day goes. It's a four hour market. We normally sit back and chill and we also grab food and stuff like that from other vendors. We tend to buy from other vendors as well. When I say we, I mean my mom, she goes around the shops, but also she looks around to see what else is going on. Um, she socializes while I'm stuck at the table, giving out information, but it's a pretty nice flow. I really enjoy having my mom with me. You're giving me wind and rain. You're some kind of butterfly. I really enjoyed doing the Ferguson market. It was small, but after I did it for a couple of events, it felt like a, a community event, which is really nice. I really enjoyed uh, working with them. I'm 
going to let the rest of this event just play out um, while you listen to a little background music. I hope you enjoy and I also want to say thank you again for watching my video. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask them in the comment section. Maybe you give me ice and fire. You're chilling when the rain. You're some kind of butterfly. Baby, you give me a good night. You whip up my appetite. We're about to start taking down all of our stuff right now because it's time to go. So normally it takes around 20 to 30 minutes to take down everything. Um, the longer you do the events or the more often you do the events, the quicker setup and take down becomes because you kind of get used to just doing everything uh, like clockwork. Like you see my mom right there, she is still just sitting there. But it's cool because she worked all day. <laughs> Please like and subscribe to our videos. Thank you so much. Have a great day.